oregano. Whatever floats your boat. Hi everyone. Today's oil is oregano. And the first thing, number one thing that I want you to remember about oregano, if it's the only thing you remember, is that it is a hot oil. What does that mean? That means do not put it in the bath. Do not put it directly on skin without a carrier oil um, and just be really mindful that it's a hot oil and it feels hot it um, is really really strong so definitely no no to putting in the bath or putting directly on skin in any shape or form so just remember that part um, as far as uses this one is in my little oils first aid kit um, it is amazing for, sorry, that was my daughter coming in there. Um, so its top properties are, it's antibacterial, antifungal, antiviral, and it's an amazing immune system stimulant. So if you are coming down with something or feeling unwell, oregano is your friend. Um, dilute it, put it on your feet. Um, that is pretty much the main way that I use it. As soon as I start to feel like I'm coming down with something that I don't want, I dilute it with some fractionated coconut oil or liquid coconut oil and rub it on the soles of my feet. And if it's not sweltering hot, like right now, um, I then put some socks on and just reapply that um, a couple of times a day until the yucky feeling that I'm feeling goes away. So it's really incredible for that. I have used it before on my throat um, for something going on, some discomfort that I had going on in my throat. So again, really heavily diluted with fractionated coconut oil and rubbed on the throat for a couple of days and sorted it out straight away. So really, really awesome. Um, you can also use it for flavoring, obviously, oregano. So. I'm just going to have a really gentle smell because it's really strong. Oh man, it smells so delicious. Um, when you're using oregano in cooking, oregano essential oil in cooking, just be mindful that the flavour is really, really strong. So a lot of people actually get a wooden toothpick and just run it around the rim of the orifice reducer or that plastic thing in the end and then mix their food with that toothpick and that gives them enough of the oregano flavour in that dish. Um, I'm more likely to put a drop in but I'm a crazy person and I love the flavour and I love strong flavours. So um, t start off with a toothpick if you're going to put it in your, I don't know, spaghetti bolognese or soup or whatever you're going to do and just adjust it as you go. Start with a little bit and then see how you go. Um, but it is beautiful and the smell is absolutely beautiful. Um, yeah, so emotionally, it's the oil of humility and non-attachment. So um, it's great for clearing blocks or clearing like negative feelings or negative patterns in your body. So if you're going to use it emotionally, I would recommend using it aromatically. So diffusing or smelling straight out of the bottle. Um, it's yeah, it's it's a really helpful oil with dealing with stuck, stagnant emotions or blocks of or when you feel like you just can't break through to that next stage, whether that's you know getting out the door to go to work or whether it's something massive like you know being okay with moving house or something like that um, on all scales. So yeah, it provides positive emotions um, like feeling humble, feeling no attachment and feeling teachable and flexible which I think is really amazing so um, yeah that's pretty much it that's pretty much the only ways that I use oregano at home is in cooking and rubbing on my feet when I'm starting to feel like I'm coming down with something um, and even though that's not a lot of uses, it's so powerful for those things. So 
Um, don't underestimate it. It is the number one. If I feel something coming on, it's Oregano on the feet, no questions asked. Um, pairs really well with On Guard too. Um, on Guard is a blend that really boosts our immunity. So you can be fighting whatever it is off with Oregano while boosting your immune system and giving your immune system support with On Guard at the same time as Oregano doing that too. So yeah. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the video and leave me some comments underneath and let me know if you've got any questions or um, yeah, whatever. Okay, see ya.